Assalamu alaikum and good afternoon to all dear friends. I have to explain something regarding fascist and Nazi influences here in subcontinent. Well, as journalist, whenever I come up with some research findings I share with uh, all of you honestly I never try to link innocent people with uh, Nazi and fascist ideology when on the ground realities I prove that Nazi and fascist influences does exist in subcontinent and when uh, history reveals before us that <coughs> Subhash Chandra Bose had created Indian Liberation Army which was trained by Hitler and that army had fought uh, against uh, Great Britain and its allies uh, during Second World War. Then you see These are the facts. And when um, so many times uh, fundamental human rights are being suspended here in Pakistan and in India as well <coughs> by elected politicians and other rulers as well, then what you can conclude? fascist and Nazi influences are here and uh, that mindset prevails and is dominating politics here in subcontinent and those uh, Nazis and fascists they always talk in terms of war <coughs> between India and Pakistan I mean they don't have any other solution They don't uh, believe in diplomatic harmonization. They always talk about the military solutions. So when I came up with this uh, uh, argument that uh, sufficient evidence is there to prove that uh, the subcontinent is still under Nazi and fascist influences and Second World War in ideological terms is over in Europe but here in subcontinent it is still there and pro-democracy people are still uh, striving to find some space to introduce true democracy here, luckily which is being approved by both constitutions of India and Pakistan. As we know that uh, nuclear uh, power or, uh, or huge military might uh, is not a guarantee of uh, unity in any federation and uh, even those totalitarian states like uh, Soviet Union was dismantled, dismembered uh, when economy collapsed they were uh, equal in military might with the United States of America almost but they were dismembered when their economy was collapsed and their economy collapsed because there was one party rule and dictators there 
who are uh, opting for wars everywhere in the world. You know. uh, in Afghanistan, they had intervened militarily. They wanted to move forward to capture Pakistan and to install uh, communist regime there. And the third target was India. And they did all that in Eastern Europe as well, soon after the Second World War. They came to East Germany through barrel of the gun, they had installed communist regimes there. So, someone very dear to all of us has said that uh, linking people with uh, fascist and Nazi ideologies at least I, I am not the one who criminalizes others. Practices of every politician here in subcontinent are ample proof that they, they cannot even have consensus on fundamental human rights. And they still say that every uh, uh, writer, every journalist must uh, term them as champion of democracy. This is something insane, you see. People are fascist in Brazil and they have a party and they had won elections as well. I mean, why to be a hypocrite? If you are a fascist or if you are a Nazi, you just... Uh, freedom of expression clause is there in constitution of Pakistan and India as well. Why do you portray, as, uh, portray yourself as champion of democracy then? Let the people know you well and then they feel like casting their vote for you, uh, that will be their will and wish. So we have to bring out this subcontinent uh, out from hypocrisy. Uh, and uh, I say again that I, I do not criminalize others. And I do not link uh, anyone with uh, fascist ideology or with Nazi ideology. That is our history. Subhash Chandra Bose had formed Indian Liberation Army and his that act was approved by Mahatma Gandhi. And uh, he had got training uh, for his army and his headquarter was Singapore. You just go and check, see the facts and he had fought uh, Indian Liberation Army had fought against uh, Great Britain and its allies and had conquered uh, Manipur, now which is part of uh, India, while fighting against uh, Great Britain during Second World War. So these are the facts, I mean, and uh, I never uh, bring out these facts to uh, make the situation worse here. I just want everyone uh, to realize that uh, India is a federation, Pakistan is a federation, people have rights and uh, we all shall work uh, to create that welfare state uh, which, is, uh, which is a provision in our constitution. And uh, that is what our uh, intentions are and all my uh, peace activist friends are striving for that. So I wish all the best to all of you and good luck as well.